Hey creeps and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be painting a koi fish mermaid. I thought this would be such a cute idea to do. I went ahead and just um, used my Simply Watercolor brand watercolors for this. Also I used, um, I believe that is, I think that's the Artist Loft um, gouache. And I decided to go ahead and use um, pink in her skin tone as well. Also some yellow for like her base tone, you know decided to get a little bit of pink for some more depth um yeah this is really fun to do um i didn't have many challenges at all with this one just because it was basically the wet on wet technique for most of this painting i'm thinking that i really want to get into um into markers uh i've never used markers before for like anything really I've used like highlighters and stuff like that for different um, effects and stuff with watercolor, but I haven't used any markers before, and I'm really curious on trying out, um, you know, a watercolor base and then going on top with alcohol marker and just see what um, what will happen and see what kind of images I can create with that. Um, yeah, and basically for her tail, like I said, I went in with the wet and wet technique, so I basically saturated the whole area of her tail and then went in with um, uh, with gouache and I used the watercolor to go ahead and or um, add in that orange highlight. Also I used, I think that is a watercolor based marker. Um, I believe they are. I got them from Michaels a while back and I just decided to use some of that yellow for a different tone in this picture. Now at first when I was painting this, I did not want to go in too, with too much water or anything like that. I just wanted to have like a little base and I really liked how the white just popped when I did that. But later on I decided to go ahead and fill it in with um, more water so it has the same effect that the, the rest of her um, tail does. But yeah, I decided to use that yellow uh, watercolor marker for most of this picture. I really like the way that um, it played up the orange and, you know, gave it a little bit more. It, it's more dynamic that way to me. It just looks a little bit more different than any other um, koi fish that you see with more of a yellow based um, orange instead of a red based orange. So, yeah, I decided to go ahead and play with that also um, decided to give her more splashes of freckles and stuff everywhere just because you know the koi fish pattern does have like little um, freckles of black and stuff like that so I decided to do that as well with her body and when it came down to her hair I decided to make it black and flowy I didn't want it to make it um, look stiff at all because she is supposed to be a mermaid and she's supposed to be underwater and I basically think that's it for this painting um, yeah like I said I had pops of um, pink or red as well in here so like her lips are going to be um pink i believe um yeah i think that's pretty much it for this entire painting so i guess i'll pop back in if i need to say anything else
I don't know if I already mentioned it, but I did go in with color pencil to give her skin a little bit more of a scaly texture. And I also went in with white soccer jelly roll to give her a bit more of a highlight and also add some beading and stuff like that so that she didn't look so flat. Um, but yeah, we are coming up to the finished piece and I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, let me know if you want to see anything else next. Don't forget to like and subscribe and also comment and I'll see you guys in my next video.